Okay, um, so let's try uh, this problem here. It says, uh, when silver crystallizes, it forms a face-centered cubic cell. The unit cell edge is 408.7 picometers. Given the density of silver is 10.5 grams per cubic centimeter, centimeter, calculate Avogadro's number. Okay, so in this um, video, right, we're going to be calculating Avogadro's number even though we already know it. Okay, so um, we're hoping to get something close to the approximate, or uh, approximately um, close to the value that we know of Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the 25th. Okay, so in order to do this problem, uh, well, of course, you're going to have to know the formula that puts all this together and that's really the di that's the density formula uh, for the unit cell so if you remember you guys remember what the density formula is mass over volume uh for unit cell oh for unit cell density oh. equals does anybody remember uh, uh so z oh. m molar mass molar. right so lattice points molar mass divided by i don't remember side cubed, and Avogadro's number, right? Okay, so what are we going to, yeah, what are we solving for? Avogadro. Avogadro's number, right? So we're gonna have to rearrange this equation to solve for that, so just flip these. Na, right? Z, M, S cubed, right? So that's the formula that you're going to need. Okay, this is the formula we should have been using this entire time studying for this. Hopefully we recall it, you know, next time we see it. So do we have all of these variables? So this is what was given to us in the problem. Uh, density we have, side molar mass, well, silver, right? So we can look up the molar mass of silver from the periodic table. Right? And when we do that, it's going to be like 107.87, I think. Yeah. 107.87 grams per... Oops. Getting ahead of myself. Grams per mole. Okay. Okay, so we have that. And Z, that's the lattice points for face um, cubic uh, cell. We should know how to calculate that. So do you remember the face cubic cell? Four. Yeah, it's four. I saw you were writing in the air with your hand. I imagine you were doing this, right, with your hand? So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one-eighth of eight, right? And then the face is one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and half, half of three, six. right? Or half of six is three, right? So um, Z, what did we say? Four. Uh, one plus three equals four. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah, no problem. No problem with that, right? So I think we, do we have everything now? Okay, so now it's just a plug and chug. Just make sure we plug it into the calculator appropriately. You know, so sometimes that's where our problem lies. Hopefully by this time uh, within the, the course, you're pretty good with your calculator. But anyways, um, so the way I like to write this is so it's very obvious which units I'm canceling out. Okay, so in this case, 107.87, I'm going to write it 107. Grams and then to put the one mole at the bottom. So really emphasize this is over here. Okay. And then the side, oh, this is in picometers, right? But density is in centimeters. So we're going to have to convert that to centimeters. So what do we do? Uh, one times 10 to the 12 picometers per one meter. I'm just going all the way up, then we can come back down to centimeters. Right, so one meter, 100 picometers. So 
So we got that in centimeters. Right, if we do that, that's 4.087 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. Did I get it right? I think so. So if, I, if you want to. centimeters, but we're going to cube that, right? Okay. And so hopefully we've got some cubic centimeters somewhere that we can cancel with it. So, and we do in the density, so that's 10.5 grams, or one cubic centimeter. Okay, are we good with that? Okay, so hopefully you see grams in the numerator is going to cancel with grams in the or in the numerator in the denominator there, and then cubic centimeters will when we eventually cube this is going to cancel with cubic centimeters there. Okay, and then the units that we're going to get is per mole, right? And that's the units of Avogadro's number. Everybody okay with what we found? Okay, wonderful. So I'm just going to write our units per mole if everybody's okay. Now I'm going to get my calculator out and hopefully get it right. So what I encourage you to do is do it with your calculators, you know, and make sure that you can use your calculator appropriately. Or make sure I'm doing it right, right? So 4.087, I like to start there because that's what I'm going to cube. So hopefully we get something close to Avogadro's number. Okay. And I got 6.0, well, what's the 6? It's 3, 2 times 10 to the 23rd per mole. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd per mole is Avogadro's number, right? So this is kind of another way to, I don't know, um, get a, a good perspective on how to calculate Avogadro's number, a good, another way to calculate Avogadro's number. Are there any questions on this one? So it's more of a, this type of problem, more of a, okay, knowing which formula we're going to have to do, and then rearranging that formula. Okay. Okay, good, good job, guys.